get called to be a juror, and this is the jury that you are called to. Yes. What What was that? <laughs> unbelievable. That is unbelievable. I know. What was your impression of, of Donald Trump when you saw him? Um, you know, he looked less orange. Uh, definitely, like more yellows. <laughs> like yellow. He doesn't look angry or I think he looks bored. Like he wants this to finish and go do his stuff. You know, if you have gold tones in your concealer, your foundation, or your bronzer, it does tend to look more orange on camera. So, fascinating development here. However, the main point of this story is the ongoing, well, actually not ongoing anymore, the jury selection for Trump's hush money trial in New York. Turns out that now we have a full 12 person jury. They've officially been seated in Trump's New York criminal trial. Uh, But the jury selection process had some bumps along the way, to say the least. Now, we started the day with seven jurors seated in Donald Trump's criminal New York trial. Uh, Then we went down to five after two of them ended up getting excused. And based on comments from one of the original jurors, Intimidation from Trump and his cronies in the media seem to have played a role in her request to leave the case. She didn't want to be a juror. She told the court, aspects of my identity have already been out there in public. Yesterday alone, I had friends and family push things to me. I don't think at this point I can be fair and unbiased. Now the judge reprimanded the press for reporting what he said was Basically too much information, too many identifying details about the juror juror in question. He ordered that questions about potential jurors employers would be redacted from court records moving forward in order to protect the identities of the jurors. And he also directed reporters to avoid mentioning jurors physical appearance. Now after dismissing the woman or after dismissing the woman, he also said, quote, we just lost what probably would have been a very good juror. Now there was also a second juror today who had been dismissed. Let's get into the details of that. Juror number four dismissed Thursday afternoon, meaning today was excused after prosecutors said they found a news article showing that someone with the same name as his juror had previously been arrested in Westchester for tearing down political advertisements. While it is unclear at this point whether it was the same person, the judge told the juror that he should not come back Monday morning. They also found the juror's wife was previously accused of or involved in a corruption inquiry per the press pool report. Now both sides in the courtroom used all strikes on potential jurors they'd been granted. And by the end of today's session, a full jury had been selected along with one alternate, meaning they still need to select five additional alternates. And that's in case something happens with like the jurors, right? Someone falls ill or something disqualifies them from being a juror, then they have the alternates to pick from to make the jury whole. So Cenk, thoughts? Yeah, first of all, um, the woman uh, whose family found out and then got the pressure and then had to leave that juror, that one's not on Trump. That one is mainly the reporters who leaked too much information about her identity. And then it became apparent that she was a juror. And it, and that's why the judge is yelling at the mainly at the reporters there and talking about limiting their access. Mm-hmm. So let's be fair and, and, and know what we're criticizing on or not criticizing. But plenty of criticism for Trump for what Anna's about to tell you. And I'll tell you, how harsh I would be against Trump if he continues these particular antics. Exactly, and and just to note, you know, the, the judge accused Trump of you know muttering something to one of the jurors, potential jurors who was being questioned, and uh, it was widely reported as uh, Trump trying to intimidate, or it was interpreted by the judge as him trying to uh, intimidate, and so he was yelled at for that. Uh, but I don't know if it's the same juror who was dismissed today. So I just want to be clear about that. With that in mind, let's pivot to the gag order debacle that's ongoing in this case. So 
Trump, of course, isn't really known for being able to control himself. He likes to speak his mind and oftentimes when he does so, he ends up being his own worst enemy, especially in the context of a criminal trial. So maybe try to control yourself when it comes to a criminal trial and when you're in the courtroom. Now, he made this reality clear yet again when he seemed to violate the judge's gag order. In fact, today prosecutors alleged that Trump had violated the order seven times already. He amplified a claim made by Jesse Waters, who's been one of the right wing you know, talking heads on cable news going after jurors and also publicizing some identifying details about them. So here is what Waters said in a segment yesterday. They are trying to rig this jury. They are catching undercover liberal activists lying to the judge. They're saying, oh, have you ever said anything on social media about Donald Trump? No, I can't remember. Well, what about this post where you said he should be in prison? Oh, yeah, that one. Strike. And they and they keep throwing these undercovers at him. And thank God they're doing their research on these people. Pausing here to deliver some honest truth as we do in our news coverage as well. TYT is facing challenges, guys, as the entire industry is. You know who could make the difference? You. If you hit the join button below, it's gonna make all the difference and keep us in business. We appreciate you, thank you. So Trump saw that segment, obviously, and so he quoted Jesse Waters on social media writing, they are catching undercover liberal activists lying to the judge in order to get on the Trump jury. And then he says Jesse Waters, he you know, references him as the one who made that quote. And so that's what Trump's getting into a little bit of trouble for, especially when it comes to the gag order and the allegations that he had violated it. Now, first off, let me just be clear, there has been no evidence that there's this orchestrated effort by liberals to infiltrate the jury pool in order to ensure that Trump is found guilty. Second of all, as of right now, that truth post is still up on Donald Trump's account, even though it seems to be pretty clearly violating the gag order, which states defendant is directed to refrain from making or directing others to make public statements about any prospective juror or any juror in this criminal proceeding. And there's been no decision yet on whether the judge will find Trump for the violation. But I can't, I have to give you one more video before I go to you, Jenk. Because look, Jesse Waters obviously over the top in his ridiculous allegation, but there was someone on The View yesterday who also made a ridiculous allegation. Let's watch. But I still believe that they will be able to find an impartial jury. They are never going to find someone that doesn't know about the former twice impeached loser president, yeah. right? No one's, no, they're never going to find that. But what I did find also interesting about my Super Bowl is that um, the legal teams will be checking the jurors' social media profiles to see if they can assess the truthfulness and intention of what they said during voir dire, which is their questioning. And I think that's really, really important because if you start liking Trump, say you follow Trump stuff on social media, media, are you going to, can you be impartial? I don't really think so. And I think what could happen in a case like this is if you have someone, and we were talking about this morning, someone named Clay Travis is sort of telling people to get onto that jury. You get one person that sneaks onto that jury with untoward feelings, that person can hang that jury. How do you sneak and that's onto a jury? Be, you have to be cool. Well, you lie, sorry. you lie. You say, yeah, that's I thing. hate Trump, I, but I can be impartial I and I this than that. Now, to be fair to Austin, Clay Travis did put out a tweet where he <laughs> recommended that Trump supporters do this. But obviously, you need to be called into jury duty. And then if you are lucky to be in the jury pool for this particular case, you would need to lie. And Cenk, I mean, both the defense attorneys and the prosecutors, they do their homework, okay? They get to pick who the jurors are gonna be, yeah. right? So that is very normal. That's a voir dire, and and you question them. This, but you can only kick out so many. So that's why you got to be careful. And eventually, the judge gets to come in and finish the jury pool, etc. But you ha you can say, 
yes, I uh, don't want that person on the jury. I think they're biased because of what they said in social media. They say they would love to convict Donald Trump. Well, I, I don't want him on the jury, that makes sense, right? The other side says, oh, they're not gonna convict Donald Trump under, no, under any circumstance. Well, I don't want him on the jury, right? That's all logical, all normal. Now, the but with the right wing, yeah, I, I think there's projection because I think a MAGA guy would love to get on any of these juries, Georgia, Manhattan, anywhere, and go, nope, 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 ha ha, right? So, but on, but on the third hand, guys, it's gonna be so hard to find anyone impartial about Trump, anyone at all. I mean, you almost have to live in a cave to be impartial because he's, so can I envision MAGA guys not listening to the evidence at all and just going, not guilty, not guilty, yes, I can. Can I envision some people who hate Trump not listening to that yes. and going guilty, 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 guilty? Totally. I can, right? So they've gotta be very careful, do the best they can and then and then move forward. And if it turns out that MAGA guy got on there and threw a monkey wrench in, what are we gonna do? That's the system we have. And so, but they should be, both sides have every right to be careful. Now, to me, none of that is the issue. The issue is when Trump talks about it. Because when Trump says on True Social the same thing that Jesse Waters said, now number one, you're the defendant talking about the jury. Mm -hmm. Total. It's just no a bad no. idea. It's a bad idea. No, it's <laughs> not just a bad idea, it's illegal, right? <laughs> so people say, well, he's got freedom of speech. No, he doesn't. Every context is different. He has freedom of speech to say what he wants in a political context. But as the defendant in that trial, he does not have the freedom of speech to attack jurors. That's not a thing. You're misunderstanding the law completely. A mob boss can't go, I got freedom of speech. So Tony, you go home to your wife, I already took pictures of her. And if you you know, make the wrong decision, maybe something happens to her, Tony. That's not freedom of speech, that's threatening a juror and a massive crime, right? So in this case, Trump isn't threatening directly, but he's saying there might be a conspiracy with these jurors to convict me. Let's see if you can, basically he's goading his followers to can you find out who the jurors are? Because if I wonder if they're liberal spies. Mm -hmm. And then what are you gonna do when you find the liberal spies who are the juries? So is that dangerous for the jurors? Yes, it's definitely dangerous, especially given how many times Trump fans have done violent things. So if I was the, jur uh, the judge in this case, I would have a very short lease for Don at least for Donald Trump and I would not be playing, I would put him in jail. Um, so next time he threatens any, any, goes anywhere near identifying, threatening, commenting on jurors, etc. I say, listen, brother, I'm not gonna let you be a mob boss here and intimidate the jury. No, you're going to jail. Do it again, you go to jail for another 30 days, another 30 days. Oh, boo hoo, I'm running for president. Well, then don't intimidate juries, jurors in the middle of your trial. You do, you're not above the law. It's never gonna get through his thick, thick orange head until you put him in a jail cell for a good amount of time that he's not above the law. But remember, more orange on camera, not as orange in person. <laughs> okay. Gotta bring it right back.